hello and welcome guys to this uh, brand new tutorial today we are going to create a simple carousel using Vue.js so let's get going of course I've created this uh, simple uh, app using uh, the Vue.js Vue.js CLI okay I'm just gonna create two components one is called carousel and the other is gonna is called carousel slide.view okay I'm just gonna copy and paste this here. Just gonna change the classes, okay? All right. So we have this carousel slide component, this carousel, and this app. Okay. Now my my idea is to use something like this carousel, and here I'm going to have this carousel slide, and I'm gonna have uh, multiple slides here, okay? And only one is gonna be visible. And that one is gonna be visible only if the uh, if certain properties or certain condition is uh, is made. Okay, let's let's just make this. I'm going to create this slides array containing all the images, and this property let's just call it visible slide, and I'm gonna set it to zero. Okay, this means show me. In the beginning show me the first slide okay here we are going to have some pictures I've I'm going to use this pixel website to provide free images I'm going to have 600 on the width and 350 on the height okay I'm going to use some random images here all right cool of course we are going to remove this let's just first export uh, or import uh, carousel from components carousel and carousel slide so now we need just to register them in the components we have carousel and carousel slide cool now here we need just to to look through all these slides so we are going to say hey slide in slides the key is gonna be slide of course in a real application you will use maybe the ID or something and we are here going to send the index okay and uh, I will tell you why we are going to send the index the index is just to use this visible slide okay so we are going here we are going to say hey if this visible slide is equal to your index for example 0 is equal to 0 right then show it or else don't show it okay since we are using this carousel and inside it we are using carousel slide I'm just going to say hey show me everything you got and of course here we are going to send the image which is slide and of course since we are using image inside the carousel slide we need the slot here okay uh, of course I don't need this Ah, this is just made by when I when I copied and uh, pasted it there. Okay, let's just see. Okay, very good, very very good. Okay, now look what we are going to do. We are going to say, hey, this is carousel slide. By the way, we are going to say, hey, only show where, when, what, when visible visible slide is equals. To the index okay so of course here we are going to send the visible slide just gonna use this visible slide is equal to the visible slide okay and now we only need to receive the props here which is which are the visible 
slide and the index. And now we should only be seeing the first slide. There you go. Now this is the first step, okay? This is the first step. Now we are going to add two buttons here. Let's call this button next. And of course, in uh, in a real application, we are not going to use next and previous. We are going to to use some icons or SVGs or uh, like font awesome or something. Okay, but just for the sake of the tutorial, we are going to use this. So we are going to say class next and class previous. Let's do some styling here. Carousel. We are going to say position is relative. So we can move the, the buttons inside. We are going to say the width to be 600 and the height 350 pixels. We are going to say the overflow to be hidden. And in the button, we are going to say uh, position absolute. Uh, the height is gonna be 40 pixels, the width is gonna be 50 pixels, okay uh, What we else what else we need to do? Okay, we can just say The the top is gonna be what it's gonna be 50 pixels a uh, 50% minus 20 pixels, so it's gonna be 50% but we need also to account for these 20 pixels because we have the height of 40 pixels okay so now it's gonna be in the middle let's just check exactly there it is we need to say background color let's just use some RGBA here 8 and the border none Okay, what's the problem here? Ah, of course, we forgot it is. There you go. We need some color. And yeah, this is good. We can add some more. Of course, this is just CSS, okay? We need just the active. The active and the hover. We are going to say outline to be none and cursor to be pointer. Very good. Now we just for the next we are going to say right zero. Okay. And for the previous we are going to say left zero, right? So there you go. Now we have very good. Okay, why did the focus didn't work? Ah, it's focused, not active. Sorry for that. Okay, there you go. Now we only need to change the slide when we click. Okay, so we are going to say on click call the next method. On click call the previous method. Okay. There you go. So here we are going to say methods. Next and previous. So let's recap just a little. Okay, we've created this carousel. We are having this carousel slide. That's it. We are receiving whatever we we put inside this carousel tag here and inside the carousel slide. That's it. Now, we set this visible slide and the index. The index is coming from the loop and the visible slide is starting from zero. So we are only gonna show the first slide. Now, when we click here on the next, we want just to increment the, the, the visible index by one. So it will show us the second slide, okay? I hope this is clear. Now, we can use from here this next and previous, but I prefer to use it here. I prefer to use them to use them here okay so let's just call or okay let's just let's just show what, what I'm what I want to do okay I'm going to emit this dot emit 
next okay and here I'm going to emit previous okay now since we are emitting something from the carousel we should be setting it here okay now next is gonna call the next function and the previous is gonna call the previous function okay so here we are going to say hey methods of course if you don't understand this uh, this emit and uh, this uh, Vue.js uh, basics please let me know in the comments and I will explain explain uh, Vue.js okay I will try to make a series for Vue.js okay now the methods here are next and of course previous okay now when we do next what we want to check we want to check if this dot visible slide is greater or equals to this dot slides dot length minus one okay if you know Vue.js then you know we can write this using computed because this is a computed property we are always going to compute this property so we just call it slide length or slides length okay and this is going to return what return this okay cool so we can now just say slides length just like this now if the visible slides is bigger or equals of course it's not gonna be bigger but it's just you can just use this but I prefer to use this okay or else just increment here we are going to say hey if it's bigger or equals to this then set it back to zero that's it now here we are going to use the same thing here but of course in inverse in reverse so if it's or for zero okay then make it equal to this or else it's minus minus okay now I guess everything is now good okay let's try it okay now we are getting something now of course this is not what we want this is uh, fairly simple now we need just to add some more functionalities okay the first thing I want to add is animation of course now here I'm going to add the transition okay there you go now let's just call it name of course now we the thing is we have two transitions we have when we click next the slide is gonna come from the left to the right and we are when or, or from the right to the left and the inverse now I'm going just to use the left okay then we win when when we made made it work I'm going to to make it dynamic okay okay what's what I'm going to do here I'm going just to say left with that so it's enter active leave active there you go now here we are going to say k frames let's just call it left in animation and the same for out all right so when we are going to get in like this interactive okay or okay the left now from the right to the left okay so we are going to start from from trans transform transit slate x yes that's what it's called <laughs> from 
the left okay from the right to the left so it's gonna be a hundred percent okay to transform translate x zero and we are going to do the inverse here it's from zero to minus hundred percent there you go so we are only going to say animation left in animation four seconds is in out let's just call it like this of course here we are going to use sorry we are going to use the out animation there you go i guess this is gonna work all right now we are having something of course i see this weird behavior here ah, okay okay this the problem is here okay so the problem here is because we are not using this as position position sorry position absolute and we are going to set it to top zero left zero right zero and bottom zero now let's check this out yeah there you go now it's working now let's do the other way around let's call this right let's just copy everything we are only going to change okay now let's just call this right There you go, and I th everything should be the same. Uh, okay, we forgot those. Okay, right. Now, now the right animation is gonna start from minus one hundred percent to the zero, and then from zero to one hundred percent. Of course, let's try this. There you go. Now we are having some nice animation. Now we need this to be toggled, of course. So we are going to say name, and we are call it gonna call it direction. Now this direction is gonna be a prop. Okay. Now we are going to send it from here. Yeah. Let's just use this direction. And by default, we are just gonna leave it empty. Or let's just say it's left it doesn't matter because it's gonna be changing whenever well, whenever we click the, the button okay so here we are going to say direction direction it's direction okay there you go now here when we click next we are going to use the left to the right or right to the left so it's the right animate animation i guess <laughs> i mixed them up okay so this dot direction it's gonna be left and here i'm going to say this is right let's check this out there you go and there you go now we are having this smooth animation using Vue.js so maybe the next time we are going to add the, uh, the, the buttons here that show which carousel we are in and uh, maybe some 3d animation I don't know just suggest me in the comments what you want to see and uh, I see you in the next video take care